<laughs> no, Coming up on the show. Coming up on the show. Right. Coming up on the show, we're going to be talking about a very special race that took place here in the UK to celebrate the life of an international mountain bike legend. We've also got some cool tech coming up from Interbike in Las Vegas, and we're talking adventure bikes. We have a very cool Instagram post that we can't wait to show you. And of course, Pin the Trail is here. And finally, we have a trail from Japan. Finally. The last round of the British Downhill Series took place up in North Wales at the weekend. But the cool thing was alongside that, they invited a load of old top downhill legends to race against each other to commemorate 20 years since Jason McCoy passed away. Yeah, one of GMBN's very own, Rob Warner, took part in the event and he was taking it pretty serious actually and went for a pretty quick time, was fastest man in qualifying actually, but then had a bet with his mate, Lee Bertram. Okay, so the, the loser out of those two in the final would have to have the winner's time tattooed on their body in an unspecified area. And Rob lost. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing that tattoo. He's yeah. already got some pretty bad tattoos anyway, so it shouldn't make much difference. Yeah, yeah, a new one now. Something else happened in that race as well, didn't it, Mark? Yes, Mark Beaumont uh, raced that race also. And how did he do? Uh, he got third. Um, Matt Simmons won the race, Mike Jones was second, and yours truly was third, so I had a very good weekend as well. Pretty good, coming out of retirement. Well done, mate. Not too bad. Well done, mate. That's pretty good. Been watching my how-tos slightly different. This thing is called the G-Paws and it's a GPS that you attach to your dog. Yeah, now that might sound like it's got nothing to do with cycling, but check out this really cool video that they've created. Guy goes out on his mountain bike, trail dog comes along with him, GPS route of the whole ride they've been out, ride straight walk, and uh, yeah, his dog meets up with a girl dog, oh, and then suddenly they're connected because you can connect through your G-Paws. It'd be um, pretty embarrassing though, if your dog was faster than you, wouldn't it? So something we've noticed a bit of a trend is adventure bikes. I'm not sure if any of you are aware of these, but basically it's a bike where you can pack all your luggage on it and sort of clear off with no sort of certain path, but stay over a few nights and have an adventure, I guess. Yeah, so in Vegas, we saw Moots come out with this Mountaineer YBB Plus adventure bike. It's titanium, 27.5 plus. Uh, all, obviously got all those packs. I think it looks really cool pack your beers, your tent, go off for a weekend. I reckon that's a really good idea. Yeah, it's not the first uh, brand to do it either. Uh, obviously, Rocky Mountain have had the evolution of their Sherpa with 27 plus wheels. So it's obviously an emerging trend. Be good to know what you guys are gonna be doing on your adventures with those bikes. Well, it's funny, Moots and Rocky Mountain both brought these bikes out as prototypes and the interest was that much that they decided to produce them. So, wow, what's the interest? Yeah. One thing that I like is like the center of the frame, boys, I don't know whether you've noticed, it's like a triangle shape. So if you're a sandwich connoisseur like myself, like I love a good sandwich, it's almost like I always cut mine in a triangle. Do you know what I mean? Like the frisky adventurer, because you food. can fill your bags with food. Triangle sandwiches Neil, are in the middle, Neil, I and think maybe your drinks are in the front. I think Mark's missed the point. Like that little round one at the front, you might get a bottle of wine with a straw or something like that, so you can drink. I don't want to go on an adventure with you. <laughs> what the hell was that bang? <sighs> Must be Insta bangers. First one comes from Deity, Tom Van Steenbergen. See this? Yeah. Front flip to manual. Pretty amazing. Technically not a front flip, it doesn't go all the way around. So still, is it yeah, is it a front flip fail? Still mightily impressive. And yes. I don't think you catch me doing it. And that brings us to the other Instagram account that we're gonna to throw to this week, and it's our very own account. It's at Global Mountain Bike Network. Yeah, these two boys are having their very own whip off Wednesday. Uh, in celebration of our how to whip video, we're gonna have a bit of a contest through hashtags to see who's got the best whip out of these two, and you're gonna decide. So, if you wanna vote for me, of course you obviously do, hashtag Neil can whip. Neil can do tabletops, and if you wanna vote for me, you just simply hashtag Mark can whip. Yeah, we're gonna count up the hashtags for next week's show and announce the winner and see who's got the best whip out of Neil and Mark. What do I win? 
Last week in our Red Bull Rampage build-up, we asked to get some of your predictions and we got a couple in, so far away, Neil. Yeah, cheers. We've got one from Dylan Pembroke and he says, I think this year Seminoc will take Rampage if he gets a clean run. He spent a lot of time on the big bike recently. Can't argue with that. Some of the videos he's been putting out recently are incredible. I still think it's going to take a lot to beat Kamzing. Yeah, it's a good shout. Uh, JD Walter, though, he's going for a bit of a dark horse. He's suggesting James Dorfling, which, uh, yeah, is an outsider, but yeah, another great rider. Also on the comments this week, we've got what we've coined Stickgate. Yes, Neil's been called out in his pro bike video for his Canyon about how he supported the bike using a stick and then totally pro when the stick failed, which it was always gonna, Neil. It was. He pro caught it. Internal routine. Internal routine. Now, yeah, we have got we have got comments from Jun, David Pinto, Julian Drennan, George Gould, Farmin, Fitzy, Saucy, Horsey, MTB, Masson, Shackled, Adele May. They go on and on. They all wanna they all wanna talk about Stickgate. It's quite a controversy. Wow. Neil, explain yourself. Wow. I just noticed my bike was falling over and I just used my Jedi skills to grab it before it fell over. It's easy. Cat-like reaction, yep. Neil. There's also a few deliberate mistakes in that video. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed them. Put them in there just to catch people out. Yeah, what were they? Well, I run a 10.42 cassette, not an 11.42. Well yeah. spotted. Yeah, yeah. tyres are 2.3. Right. Not 2.5. What does your bike weigh, Neil? Well, you're not supposed to ever ask a girl their weight, so I didn't weigh it. We can check the Canyon website, it's real one now. A comment that I picked up on comes from Adele May, and she's asking, who has the biggest guns within GMBN? A question I'd like to pose is, who has the biggest guns within professional yeah. mountain biking? Definitely leave your comments down below who you think. Chris Cavara. Sam Pilgrim. Mystery Rider! Right, now moving on to this week's, or last week's, Mystery Rider. Yeah, okay, I picked a pretty easy photo last week. You all got it right. I don't think there was a single wrong answer. Here we are, boys. The paint pot wouldn't fit them all, so uh, I got a box. Pick us a winner. The one good thing about this is we have loads of comments, which is awesome. Ready? Mr. John Donnelly. You are a winner. It was, of course, Andre Le Condigui. Congratulations, mate. We'll get you uh, a t-shirt in the post as soon as you send us your details. Yeah, absolutely. This week's photo for the mystery rider competition is, uh... oh, I like this one a lot. It's good. Brings back some memories. Yeah, Volvo Cannondale. Yeah, that's good the only clue we can give you. That's, that's it. That's your lot. One of the greatest. Oh, you've done it now. Pin the trail. Got some great pins this week and it's like a dream come true for me because finally we've got a trail from Japan. Joe Bailey, you're my hero. He sent in this fantastic video. The trail looks awesome actually, looks hot. It's called the Hendon Line and it's up near Osaka, Mark, if you want to pin it on there. Yeah. Brilliant video, flowy trail, loads of nice berms, bamboo, Osaka. pandas. Um, it's got everything. What can I, I say? I saw a panda. South of Japan. There you go. Our first trail over there in Japan. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, Joe Bailey. Hashtag Joe Bailey. Superstar. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Love this one. It's from Chris, aka Glitchy. It was going to have to be good to follow the Japan trail, but it is. It's the Torridon Circuit up in Scotland. That's hard to say. Um, and it looks Brilliant. It's a really great video actually. It really documents the ride really well, shows the map, the route, and then goes in and the scenery looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's Corridon, a great video. up there, west coast of Scotland. I've heard a lot of good things about this place. So great to have that one on the map. A nice UK addition to the Pin the Trail map. Keep the pins coming. We really love seeing your rides and putting them up on the map. So keep sending them in. Where yep. do they send them, Mark? Dirt shed at globalmountainbikenetwork.com. Can't wait to see your pins this week. My shout out this week is for Kenny Belay's Balance. It's an amazing video, a bit similar to Danny McCaskill's The Ridge, riding up on big sharp pre precipices up in the mountains on a full sus bike. Kenny is a trials rider, similar background to myself, although he does have about 35 more world championships than me. He's a little bit better. 
bit of a bit of a bit of a genius that guy uh, definitely worth a watch at the end of the video he rides across a slack line in an incredible uh, location death defying literally i do know that kenny practiced for a year to learn how to do that trick um, so it's definitely worth a watch <laughs> Uh, one video that I've picked up on is one by Shimano focusing on Greg Minar. Um, he's three times world champion and it gives you an insight into sort of how world championships works and sort of the pressure the riders are on, under and how Greg is able to rise to the occasion and sort of perform year in, year out, which he has done. Coming up on the channel this week. Tomorrow is Ask the Don where I answer your skills-based questions. Is 26 dead? Yeah. And on Mondays, a simple maintenance video, how to change your chain. Tuesday's top 10 is how to ride further. Further, further, faster, faster. Wednesday is ride downhill like a pro. <laughs> and on Thursday, a really cool video, we have a comparison with JMC's FSR S-Works nice. versus the current specialized demo downhill bike. So Very cool. 20 years difference in the downhill bikes. What is the difference? No. Looking forward to seeing that one. And then of course on Friday, we'll be back in the dirt shed. Yeah, dirt shed show time, Friday as always. So that's it for another episode of the dirt shed show. As ever, leave your comments down below for our competitions like Mystery Rider and just tell us what you think. And if you want to see more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our How to Whip feature. And you can click down there for a toolbox tour with Laura Robson, the Afferton's physio. It's a really cool video, that one actually. Watched it the other day, enjoyed it. And don't forget the Instagram hashtag oh, yeah. contest, biggest, best whip. Neil Kelly. And of course, all the usual stuff. Make sure you like this if you've enjoyed it and click on us to subscribe to GMBN. Click on who's got the best whip. Hashtag Mark Cam Whip. Hashtag Neil Cam Whip. Go on, click on them. Who wins? Click on me. Screw them, click on me. I could whip better than them. Could you? Probably.